Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. In this video, we are going to look into a very important topic, linear hypothesis. Let's get started. So, this hypothesis was uh, proposed by uh, Stafford Winter in the year 1961. As per this hypothesis, countries would be specializing in the production of certain quality products and they will be trading these uh, products with some other countries which, will be, which would be demanding these products, right? So, uh, that means that if there are two countries, country A and country B, country A would be producing certain quality products and these products would be uh, exported to country B because country B is demanding this product. Okay. So, countries with similar per capita income will consume similar quality products and this is the main crux of Linder hypothesis. And this should lead them to trade with each other. That doesn't mean that country A and country B are engaged in trade and country A is producing commodity X and country B is also producing commodity X of the same quality and they will be exporting and importing or they will be trading commodity X only. That doesn't mean so. But here the importance is given with respect to quality. Okay. So, high standard products are produced by country A as well as country B so that they can ex and they can uh, engage in trade with each other. Country A might be producing commodity X, com country B might be producing commodity Y and but these would be of high standard products. So, these would be highly qualitative products. The quality of these products would be uh, in high standard. So, these they would be engaging in trade by uh, uh, trading both these commodities with each other. Now, this hypothesis is actually an attempt to address the problems posed by the hesher ockeen model. And, and hesher ockeen model, as we all know, it says that countries would be exporting goods uh, that use certain factors of production more intensively. So, we, this means that country A would be producing uh, commodity X, uh, which uses in, uh, labor more intensively because uh, labor is abundant in country A. This is what Hesher Ruhlin theory says, right? Because the production of capital intensive goods is associated with high income countries. For example, if you compare India and USA, you can see that India is a labor ex in a labor intensive country and USA is a capital intensive country. In the case of cap US, it is much more advanced uh, in terms of income also. The income level of US is comparatively higher than that of India, right? So, uh, in this case, we could see that the income levels of different countries are different. And the Linder hypothesis says that, uh, it, uh, Linder hypothesis works off the assumption that the countries with similar income levels produce and consume similar quality goods. It is something which is told by Linder. Linder says that if countries' income levels are similar, then they will be uh, I mean, uh, uh, it says that the countries' uh, income levels are different, then there would be a difference. Countries' income levels are similar, then there is something which happens the opposite. As per the researchers, both export prices and demand are something which are strongly correlated, strongly correlated with income. This is basically for, uh, or this is uh, especially for same quality products, and the income is actually. Used, kind, uh, used as an approximation or it is considered to be something which represents demand because only when you have income in your hands you will be demanding for products. How can a country go for importing goods produced by some other countries? The country should have for example if country A is importing some goods produced by country B, country A should have some money with them. Right? It should have, uh, it should have certain money. So it is the money uh, in a country hands or in its position which determines its demand so countries with high incomes likely they these countries would consume high quality products because they have income with them this hypothesis focus on high quality goods mainly because production of these goods are capital intensive and these goods are basically produced by which countries high income countries Ex example japan europe us all these are they are trading in automobiles. As per Linda hypothesis, this is a demand side theory of trade. Okay, 
and whereas in the case of uh, certain other theories like pattern endowment theory it is these are subclassified based theories linder hypothesized hypothesized that nations will uh, nations with similar demands would develop similar industries and these nations would then trade with each other in similar but differentiated goods this is what i told they would be uh, pro, they would be engaging in trade by, by going for trade in similar goods but these goods would be differentiated okay for example uh, they would be uh, similar for example they would be producing pens both the countries would be producing pens but the brand of different pens produced in different countries would be different they would be producing some uh, what uh, uh, pencils but the brand of different pencils produced by these different countries would be different that's I, that's what i mean so uh, when there was uh, when this particular theory was put to empirical evidence when uh, the put, uh, this particular theory was put to uh, test uh, to see whether this could uh, uh, stand the empirical evidences uh, by using certain studies um, in many cases studies do not support have studies have not supported linter hypothesis whereas in this case many other cases linter hypothesis has have been or this has been supported by many theories okay um, we can see that studies that do not uh, support linter have only counted countries that actually trade they do not input zero values for situations where trade could happen also linter never presented a formal model for his theory linter effect has been found to be more significant for trading manufactured products that means that compared to non manufactured product manufactured products can be seen as some uh, area where linter hypothesis could be applied among manufactured products also uh, trading capital goods is something which is more applicable when linter hypothesis are put to effect whereas in the case of consumer goods Uh, this is not that applicable linder hypothesis is not that applicable so that's all for linder hypothesis please like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos and also please be a part of my telegram channel and telegram group to discuss your doubts i will be providing the links of the same in the description box that's all for today thank you